This is one part in a series of five tutorials for knitted mini Christmas stockings. For this one you need green, red and white yarn. I'm using a set of five short double pointed needles. These ones are size 4 mm. We start the sock here. First you need to cast on 17 stitches. It doesn't matter which method of casting on you're using. Here I have my 17 stitches and I divide them on four needles. Four stitches per needle except that the last one has five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this one has five only so that we can knit the first and the last stitch together so it stays together better and we won't get a gap here. So I'll pass the last stitch onto the first needle like this and knit first and the last together. There and then tighten it a bit. In this here sock we have three rows of purl in the start in the start of it. So I'll just purl round three times. The first one now was knit but it doesn't matter. So whichever way you knit, just purl round three times. And so on. So this is my third needle. And my fourth needle. So that's the first row done. And then just the same way, two more rows. That's those rows done. And then we'll knit one row before starting the color work. So I need one row in the green, just one row. There, and then we start to knit every second stitch green and every other one red. Here's my red yarn. I would do color work so that I just put both of the colors on my index finger, but if you like to pull it from the other side, it doesn't make any difference. So, um, Red, green, red, green, take that out, ash, where is my, just the end of the thread out of the way there, and then Red, green, red, green, and like that to the end of the row. That was the first row of the color work. And then you swap. So uh, you put green on red and red on green. Otherwise the same. So uh, there's red, so I take green on that and then red on green.
like that. Again, green on red, red on green. And like that to the end of the row and then after that you swap again so you do one more row where you continue with the red and green that's that done and uh, the yarn at the start tells me where the row starts next we're going to drop the green and take white instead so it will be red on green and white on red I'm not actually cutting the green yarn because I'll need it soon again. Just taking the white one instead. Here, so where I have red, I'll take white and red over the on the green. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get the right one, but you get used to it. Then white, red, white, red. And one more needle for the first row. White, red, white, and red. And this stretched, so I need to pull it. And then I'll do two more rows with the red and white. There we are. And then next we leave the red and just use the green and the white. So um, red away and take the green from further down. You need to check at this point then that it's not too tight and not too loose. There's the green and there's my white. And again I start green on white and white on red. Like that. That was the rows, three rows. So now we are here. And one more bit of color work before we start the heel. Here I can cut away the white yarn because I won't need it until there. But then the next I'll do it just like in the beginning. Every second one is green and every other one is red. Again for three rows alternating. That's the whole cuff bit done. And then we are going to make the heel. This has an actual real turning heel, just like in a sock, even with the decreases in here. We are working the heel on one color and on two needles. So the two back ones just get left. And um, you knit back and forth. One. And the other needle just knit. And after we get the two done, you turn and purl back those two needles. And I lift the first one purl wise without knitting it. Just like that, and then purl. as well as the other needle. There you don't lift anything, it's in the middle of the row. There. Turn again. So now we have two rows done. 
and then you knit back and forth another time and lift again without knitting knit twice this time and knit that was the third row we start turning the heel at the end of the sixth row So the heel flap is now four rows and then again five rows and then turn and uh, on the second one of these needles we start turning the heel. But first this one just the same as before. Lift one and knit and um, I mean pearl the rest. And then on this needle you pearl one and then you pearl the next together. So you put the needle through both of them and then you take the yarn and pull it through both of them there and then there's one left and don't knit that but you turn before that we'll only take it the next row and now I lift the first one knitwise without knitting it and knit the other stitch so now we have three and it has started to turn and then you knit one and then again these the next two are knitted together you lift the next, next stitch without knitting it and knit the one after it and then pull the one we didn't knit over the knitted one that decreased one again we leave the last one and turn and then here you lift this again pearlwise and pearl the next one and then on the other needle you pearl one and then you pearl the next two together so these two pearl them together so now you only have two stitches left on that then turn and lift the stitch without knitting and knit the other and here you knit the first one and then do the same kind of a decrease again so lift the next one without knitting it knit that one and pull the first one over the knitted one there so that has turned our heel so now we are here on the finished sock and we need to lift four stitches from here to continue so we continue on using this same needle we have the yarn on so I insert the needle through both sides of the stitch and uh, make a stitch push one the same for the next one two again there uh, where does it go there and one more it doesn't matter exactly where you put them there so now we have six here six and um, 
And now we continue knitting the whole round. So we no longer leave these aside. So I'll knit these. Just using the red. As well as the next one. Like that. I'll have to pull this a bit so it doesn't stretch the stitch too much. And now we are on the other side of the heel and uh, we need to lift four stitches out of here, this side as well. So first one there, then two, three, a big one, four, like that, and then we need the two that are already on the uh, on the other needle. So now we have six stitches on that as well, and then I just knit round one row. Just every stitch. there and that was the first row right round and now since we now have six stitches here and here instead of four we'll need to decrease them to form the heel a bit better which means that we are then here so we're going to do these here out of these six I first knit four one two three Four. And then on this side I knit the next two together, just knit them together like this. And then you do the next two just ordinary. There, and then here we need the next decrease, but it needs to be leaning the other way. So I lift the first one without knitting it, knit the next one, and then pull the knitted stitch through the one that wasn't knitted, like this. And then I knit to the end of the row. So now the heel is beginning to form. Then just do the same again. Only now we have one less stitch to knit. One, two and three. And then knit the fourth and the fifth one together. And now this needle has the four stitches like we had in the beginning. And then knit the next one. And the next one. And here again we need a decrease that goes that way. So I uh, lift that stitch, knit the next one and pull that one through it. And then knit to the end of this needle. So here, now our heel is finished. Then just knit round three rows before we come to here and take on two colors again. Three rows. Those three rows are done here and then we'll have three more rows so that every second stitch is red and every other one is white. So I start here again. Every 
other one. Like that. So I will do exactly the same as in here. Uh, three rows so that it becomes every second one red and white. That's those three done and then we just have to finish it off. What we'll do, we simply knit together the first two stitches of each needle until there's only one left on each. And uh, I need to use the red here, so I knit these two together using the red because the white stays on top so the pattern continues and then white and red and then again here these two together like that and then you just continue on like this until there's only one stitch left on each needle here and to finish off you pull the yarn through each of the stitches left or you can use a, a darning needle it might be easier tighten it a bit and this white as well so and then you just have to finish off all the ends of yarn and then have some sort of a loop here to hang it in a tree like this here so that's it done good <laughs> 